Hello everyone and welcome to, uh, to, to, to today's meeting. I want to thank uh, everyone for uh, letting me speak today. Um, the reason I felt today's meeting is uh, to, to address the recent resignation of Coach Michael McClanathan and his absence at Drake University. Um, Coach McClanathan was uh, someone who had coached the O-line for the past uh, excuse, excuse me, four years and um, he always preached to be a bad motherfucker. And uh, his, his absence was very unexpected and we want to come to, the, to find the reason why he has left. We talk about living the bulldog way, and one of our core values in living the bulldog way is, is, is to be a bad motherfucker. And we would like to uh, address why exactly Coach McClanathan has left us. So, Coach Cash, why do you think Coach Mike left? Honestly, like, I think Mike's an alcoholic. Like, and I got blackout drunk every single weekend in college. But like, like, man, like, like, I'd much rather have him like smoke a joint in the office. Honestly, I mean, like, if you do that, what you're gonna chill, maybe eat some Cheetos. Like, 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 if you get blackout drunk, like. You're gonna wake up the next day and you're not even gonna know you're not even gonna know where you are. Like, like Steve. Like, what do you think? No, no, Willie. I think at that point in time, from an overall perception perspective, Coach Mike was going through something internally, and I think from his perspective, that was his way of trying to cope. Well, like, like, but like, couldn't he just like smoke, like smoke a joint when he's doing that? Like, home, like, home. Steve, like, I'm, I'm trying to talk to you right now, Steve. Steve, I'm trying to talk to you right now, and you just keep singing. Steve, you need therapy. Hey, Steph, uh, why do you think Mike left? Dude, it was probably because he was fucking telling us to put our masks over our nose all the time. Like, he was literally at practice today, and, like, he was like, dude, put your fucking mask over your nose. And I was like, fuck you, man. Like, masks don't even work. Hey, I'm finna catch him whacking, bro. Oh, oh, what are you doing, man? Hey, wh hey just whoa. Drink it. Just whoa, drink whoa, it. whoa, 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 dude. I, so, um, is I heard that the Gatorade's on the banned substance list. Uh, is that true? No, that's cat. No, 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 no. So, Mott, how, uh, how are you feeling that Mike's leaving? Well, actually, the day I found out he was leaving, I was doing dishes in the kitchen with Abby, and. I mean, I'm just looking at her. I, I just see this nice ass just staring right at me. And she turned to me and she said she was in the mood. So I was like, all right, let's fuck. And I, I took her to my room and I, I just covered her in applesauce. <laughs> got six fucking plates loaded up in here. We're in the middle of camp. Last I checked, you barely moved 405 on your last set. Let's see. 385. Does this look like 385 to you? No. I got all the coaches complaining about how you guys are feeling. This is the shit you do, not even squatting to death. Get the hell out of here. Hey, Cross, why do you think Coach Mike left? I'm not even lying to you, bro. Coach Mike was the worst. I don't even want to talk about it. You know, just wanted to reiterate, we use that XA score app, okay? So you wake up in the morning, you let us know how you're feeling, and you know, again, you know, I can look at that before I'm going out to practice. That way I know, how's the team feeling? Is the stuff we're doing working? We do everything here for a reason, and if something doesn't make sense, you can always ask us. Key example right here, I got Danny Morales right here with me. Arguably one of the best players in the entire conference. Maybe the country, maybe even the world. And, and you know, again, you know, Danny put a one on his X XA last night, and man, he just gives me the biggest bone. I bring this stuff to meetings every day for a reason, and, and you know, again, you know, we, we saw that he was sore, so I'm just going to stretch him out here. He's got a one. I mean, we might, we might even have to cancel practice because Danny feels so bad. Here, Danny, let me, let me get you loose. Oh, how's that, Danny? So, Ryan, uh, what do you think about Mike leaving? Doesn't matter to me, man. As long as I can play linebacker, drink beer, and lift weights, I'm good. Also, it's like 100 degrees out here. Why are you in sweats and a hoodie? <sighs> Don't worry about it, man. It's not about me, all right? Doesn't matter. Woo, baby, it's the weekend! Hey, Ross, uh, do you know why Mike left?
Hello? The walk. Um, no, I don't think I'm gonna make it to waste today. Feeling kind of under the weather, but uh, yeah, I'll be there tomorrow. All right, okay, thanks, bye. Hey Jerry, uh, I've seen that you've been doing a whole lot of work with the strength and conditioning staff. How has that been going for you? I have been, man. Yeah, it, it's it's been good though. I mean, I get to roll out and stretch and just make sure I'm I'm feeling good every day. And you know, if I want to, I just can I just I just skip D line meetings. And then if I want to take a picture for picture day, then I do. So if I want to be on the team, I can be. Hey, Toby. What up, what up? Uh, what do you think about Mike leaving? Uh, I don't really know why he left. I mean, Coach Mike and I were always a, had, had a fine relationship, but I know a lot of the O-line o didn't really like him. But uh, um, I don't know. Maybe you should ask June because uh, I know Mike and the, the running backs didn't have the best relationship. Uh, speaking of June, uh, where is he? June, June, are you here? Oh, there he is. Hi, I'm not here. Turn me up, offense. Turn me up. Hey, here we go, offense. RPR. RPR, all right? We're going to take these two fingers on both hands, all right? We're going to lick the tips of them. We're going to be right here with it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Should stimulate the tip of your penis. Hey, Coach Wimhoff. Be in this moment. Let it go. What moment am I supposed to be in, coach? Like a wave. Make it circle. I don't know what I'm supposed to make circle, coach. If you can feel your hands and feet are tingling, that's okay. Um, coach, I think that might be a sign that your blood pressure is a little bit high. Let the body do what the body is capable of doing. Um, okay. Uh, go dogs. So, uh, Yanni, why do you think Coach Mike left? Honestly, dude, I just don't think he could handle me beating all of his old linemen all the time. Well, time to go get behind the wheel. Hey, Coach Smith, uh, why do you think Mike left? Hey, 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 you trying to get me kicked off the staff? What? Hey, 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 that's a cocksucker move, Al. That's a cocksucker move. Are you serious? Are you serious? You really trying to do that to me? I got to feed Dante and Donovan with my volunteer coaching job, and that's how you pay me? Bert, you are looking good with your shirt off. What the fuck? Oh, you want to know what Mike did to us at practice yesterday? Yeah, just laid his fucking dick down on us and motherfucked us. Yeah, you know what I did when I got home? Took a bottle of Jack Daniels to my fucking dome. That's hey, what hey, I did. Hey, Andrew, Andrew. Hey, watch your mouth, hey, man. Hey. Mind, if, mind if I pray for you real quick, man? Uh, yeah, sure, yeah. 
Hey, God, uh, we just uh, lift you up to see him, Lord. And Lord, we pray for Andrew, Lord. We pray that Andrew has ears for listening for you, Lord. And we pray that you bless his day in a mighty, mighty way, Lord. We pray, we pray for Andrew, Lord, that he's able to stay away from alcohol and repent, Lord. All God's men said? Amen. Hey, Coach Mort, uh, I know you're new here, but what did you hear about Mike? All right, here's the deal. My name is Matt Moriarty. My understanding is that Coach McClanathan did not get fired. However, if he did get fired, I would say it's the best thing that ever happened to me. This is my third season, three years, and getting fired is the best thing that ever happened to me. So Coach McClanathan, if he got fired, it would be the best thing that ever happened to him. Thank you. Um, hey Jerry, what are you doing? Oh, oh hey man. Um, I'm, I'm just hanging out with my foam rollers, you know. I, I just love these things. This is so much better than drinking alcohol or smoking weed or having a one night stand. All things that I would just never do. <laughs> I don't think you understand how much pain I'm in right now. What's bothering you about us today? Um, it's a lot of things. I mean, I think you remember I tore my ACL. That really hurts. My ankles are both sprained. And if you want to take a look at it, I'm almost positive that I broke my thumb today in practice. And I know there were guys that got IVs yesterday, but I definitely shouldn't have been doing that. Give it three claps, ready? Hey, you know, we talk about our identity. We talk about it all the time. Passion, fight, love, compete, execute, finish, right? We talk about these things every day. One big thing, knockout shot, right? Patrick Conlon, speaking of knockout, speaking of knockout shots, this guy, the way he hit that garage door, Pat, you earned these, man. I'm proud of you. Appreciate it, coach. You bet, you bet, man. Hey, Mike, it's been a while. Uh, we're all really curious as to why you left Drake. Yeah, man, I mean, there's no bad blood. I'm, I'm happy to talk about it. You know, I've been at Drake, played here, been here for a while, but it was time for a change, and uh, Coach Creighton offered me a job. So, you know, moving on. Fucking suck at Drake. All right, Mike, be honest. What's the real reason you left? Not going to lie, man. It's pretty hard for me to talk about. If you really want to know, it was fucking Presbyterian when Bennett decided that he was going to taunt the fucking crowd like this, like a motherfucker. Oh my God, it just pisses me off. Bowers, what are you doing here? Quit choosing music over football, man. Oh my God, I want to smash something. Holy shit. Got to stop choosing music over football. Oh my God, yeah. Half the O-line wasn't even 500 pound squatters. Bunch of fucking pussies. Oh my God. Fucking second bowler. Yeah. 